think we needed a race in the sweet spot in that gap when football finishes and before the Christmas season warms up. Racing really shines at this time of the spring and this is our opportunity to do something bold, something new, something exciting at this time of year. Our early sales and all the pointers are super strong that this is going to be our peak event for Sydney racing and we're building up to something really special. It allows us to bring in promotional angles with our members, with the community. It allows us to bring in charity elements with our charity partners. And it gives us, everyone involved with the ATC, a great thrill to have a horse in an event like that. So we can't wait. Now the future is really bright for Sydney Racing. We, we had a, uh, I guess, a funding deficit for many years, which Racing New South Wales has worked really hard to resolve. And now it's about investment. We're investing in the quality of our assets, we're investing in the quality of our promotions and we're working really closely with Racing New South Wales to take the industry forward. I think the industry is really starting to get behind it and see the benefits of the merged entity and of the relationship we've forged with Racing New South Wales. So we had 24 applications under our Expressions of Interest program. We had uh, 14 local applications and 10 international applications which blew us away. Uh, all great horses and it was really hard to narrow them down. We just went through a process of form and current form. Uh, the promotional angles that the horse brought with it, the other opportunities we had to work with the stable and the connections to bring, uh, I guess, an X factor to the race and that's probably why we ended up with Brave Smash, his Japanese background, the Australian bloodstock story of bringing so many people into the races as a syndicator uh, and the opportunity to sort of for benchmark international horses to see how Brave Smash performed to perhaps line up horses for future years. So, really exciting opportunity and we're looking forward to him running for our slot. Brave Smash in front, below the 100 metres from El Divino. Brave Smash is going to cling on here. It was really a broader package from the ATC. It wasn't necessarily about commercial return, uh, although that would be nice. Uh, it was also about the promotional angle and how we could work with um, the horse owners uh, to really bring something different to the race. And, and we certainly think Brave Smash is the Japanese horse, has, has that X factor and we're hoping he runs well on the day. Um, Racing New South Wales have, um, have been very brave in, in underwriting the race and giving us the opportunity to host the event and uh, you know create a great Sydney racing event at this time of year uh, and we couldn't be more delighted. I think Peter Volandis deserves great credit to come up with the concept and, and show the vision and leadership that he has uh, to get the Everest you know, spoken about right across the world in year one's a fantastic effort and our responsibility is to host a wonderful event on a great track and we're working really hard to make sure that's the case. The Everest cut through uh, is quite remarkable in year one. Uh, it's really cottoned on and uh, you know when you look at the media hits usually at this time of year there's a lot of talk about the cups and they tend to dominate but the Everest is right there right there with the Melbourne Cup in terms of interest, in terms of media hits. Uh, if you look at our profile on social media and, and the media tracking that we do, um, the hits and the pointers for people looking at the Everest is off the charts compared to anything else we've ever done. So it's building up to be something very special. Having a performer like Jason Derulo, who's world renowned, uh, really adds to the, how we can promote this race internationally. Uh, we want to give people to come here great value and a great experience uh, and to finish a fantastic race day with an hour-long concert from Jason Derulo will send everyone home smiling. Hopefully it generates the sort of PR and social media that we hope to create this really real hype around the brand, the Everest brand and the Everest race day uh, for years to come. It's really setting us up well for the future. I guess the belief we had that it would work, we wanted to buy a slot to be a part of it, as I said, to leverage for promotion, for charity, for community, uh, and to really get behind and support the day, and that was the best way we could, was to, was to back it in that way, and, uh, and as I say, we're now looking forward to delivering a great event and leveraging all the opportunities that we have with our slot. I just think it would be something really special to be a part of, to celebrate um, the winning of the inaugural Everest, um, I think there'd probably be a few arguments too trying to work out how we're going to split the trophy. Look, Nick Gironi's done a brilliant job with that trophy. It's the most spectacular trophy I've ever seen. Um, and uh, I'm sure anyone who ends up with it on its mantelpiece will be more than happy.